Math 151. Out of Section 2.3, on page 107, we're doing some problems. This is 24. And we are going to try and find the limit of this function as x approaches negative 1. And notice if I just do some direct instruction, uh, direct instruction, some direct substitution, I would have negative 1 to the fourth power negative 1, which is 1 minus 1. I'd be dividing by 0. So I'm going to do some factoring to try and uh, do some direct substitution with what's left over after I have to have to reduce a little bit. So this uh, was going to factor to x plus 1 times x. Just that perfect square trinomial. So this is a difference of squares form. It's x squared <clears throat> squared minus 1. So this factors to x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. And that part's prime, that, that x squared plus 1. But this is difference of squares again. It's kind of a nested uh, difference of squares inside a difference of squares. So this part I can factor to x plus 1 times x minus 1. And so now that everything's factored, let me rewrite this statement. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, so x is approaching negative 1. <clears throat> My numerator, sorry about that, factors to x plus 1 times x plus 1. My denominator factors to x squared plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. And you see where the trouble is trying to plug in negative 1. That's where I divide by 0. So let me do some uh, division. x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is 1. And I think that's all it cancels out. So what I'm left with then is still evaluating the limit. Limit as x approaches negative 1 of x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 times x minus 1. So now I'll do a little direct uh, <clears throat> substitution. So I'll plug that negative 1 and see what happens. So on top I have negative 1 plus 1. In the bottom I have uh, 1 squared plus 1. I'm sorry, negative 1 squared. I'm going to rewrite that. It doesn't change it, but I want to be accurate. Um, negative 1 squared plus 1 times 1 minus, negative 1 minus 1. I'm plugging in negative 1. So, uh, interestingly, in the numerator, I get 0. But that's okay. I, I can divide into 0. I just can't divide by 0. Notice down here I have 1 plus 1. Uh, so I have a 2, and this is a negative 2, so I have negative 4. And 0 divided by negative 4 is 0. So my answer is 0.